Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of, what do we call it? You know what I mean. I think that's yeah. what we call what it. Dude, you know what I mean. Let's be consistent and let's keep it the same. We are once again joined by the immortal Tom, old guy in Colorado, Raymond. Welcome, at your Tom. service, sir. At your service. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, uh, I'm, every time you see Tom's face on a Trippy Food episode, it's probably safe to assume that Tom said, hey, Val, look what I found. Want to do it? And like an idiot, I said, yeah, let's do it. He always so, does. So, so, Tom, tell us what we're doing today. We are doing bologna salad. Old-fashioned bologna salad. Now, now, t- tell me, because I, I, ideally, um, you should go to the deli and get like a, just have them cut you a slab of the big thing of bologna. But, you know, if that's not possible, then just your, yeah. your store-bought, like, lunch meat would work just fine. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So, based on the description of it, would you say that it's very close to ham salad? I would say it's very close to ham salad, to tuna salad, to egg salad, because they all pretty much have those same basic celery, onions, pickles, eggs, kind of, you know. Although I would tell you that I've had ham salad that um, had, instead of having it like kind of mashed the ham in little cubes and also had peas in it. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Bigger pieces of onion. So we're going to kind of wing this. We are going by a recipe and I will have the recipe down below and a link to the recipe. So we're going by a recipe. So where did, where did you see this one, Tom? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> where did I see it? I believe it was on a, uh, a vintage recipe uh, page I see on Facebook or something. I'm pretty sure that is. Okay. So so it, uh, it contains bologna, hard-boiled egg, celery, onions, sweet pickle relish, which they say is optional. Did you option that? Oh, yeah, I've got a little pickle roll. Okay, all right. (laughs) Um, Mayo, mustard, salt, pepper. And then um, apparently they say you can serve it on crackers or the the serving recommendation is on crackers on Ritz crackers. So I have, I think we both have some of that. And um, just to, just because it, it is akin to tuna, uh, tuna salad, bread. So we'll do, we'll do both. All right, so now you have your stuff all chopped up. I have everything chopped up, except I don't have the bologna chopped up. So um, I am using um, Hebrew National only because it's beef. I just wanted to, to, to keep a beef one. I think some of the other ones that I saw were like chicken, pork, beef, you know, with a bunch of different things and everything. And I don't want to go too crazy. Um, I know that, Tom, when we do mean foods, sometimes we go, let's not get fancy with it, right? Oh, I, cheap as possible. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I, I will tell you, my my bologna doesn't have a first name. I, <laughs> I will tell you that um, when I was a kid, my mom used to make fried bologna, mm-hmm. and that was a that was a favorite of ours. She used to cut the little X in the middle of it because it would bubble up. Right. Mm-hmm. Same so here. Fried bologna and, and cheese. Let's That's let's right. try this much. So. Um, you've got yours all cut up. I'm going to use my blender as a food processor. So I'm going to just kind of, I have everything else kind of cut up and I'm just going to pulse it really quickly mm-hmm. and obviously turn the volume, <laughs> turn the volume down <laughs> while I'm doing that, of course. Well, this is going to be a taste treat that I'm not going to forget. It's a tasty treat that can't be beat. I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say it's probably not going to be that bad. Probably not. <laughs> well, it's I mean, not going to be great. Provided, yeah, provided that you're at least okay with bologna. Yeah. You know, if you really... And I am. I am. Are you? Are you? Are you a fan yeah, of bologna? I'm all right with it. I don't eat it all the time. But to me, really, uh, cheap bologna has almost exact same flavor as a cheap hot dog. So. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, so. Yesterday, I was at Costco and I had their dollar fifty hot dog, and I'll tell you, that's a deal because. Because it's a dollar fifty for the hot dog and a twenty ounce drink. Now, if you want the twenty ounce drink by itself, it's seventy cents, which means it's an eighty cent hot dog, and that hot dog is probably like somewhere between a third and a half a pound. Nice. That's a really good deal. It is. The thing about uh, Costco's hot dogs is they the stipulation is they cannot raise the price no matter what. And it was getting really expensive to maintain that. And so they actually bought a factory where they make their own hot dogs. So they're they're now Kirkland signature hot dogs. So they make their own just to, to, to get past that. All right. So I got 
I got that in there. I might as well put the other ingredients at the same time, right? Might as well. And then at some point, I'll go ahead and just... I've got all my ingredients just kind of right here. I can just toss them in the bowl with my little mayor with my little mayonnaise and mustard. Yeah, I'm just like I said, I'm just gonna pulse this. Mm. Maybe a spoonful of it's so neat. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, Mount Olive relish. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's my favorite one. I like the Mount, Mount Olive. Yeah, they make good pickles. Oh, we got that, you know, that, that kind of fluid that comes out of yeah. the mustard? Yep, same like with the uh, ketchup, too. It'll do that to you. Oh, actually, the mustard you're supposed to put in afterwards, right? The mustard, the mayo, and what else? Mustard, <laughs> mayo. Oh, the relish you were supposed to. All right, I messed up on that one. All right, you're going to hurt nothing, but you can add it in when you want. It's bologna salad. <laughs> it's not and like we're eating pheasant under glass now, is it? <laughs> Bologna under glass and <laughs> celery. How's that look? I, Close enough, right? Looks horrible, actually. But <laughs> <laughs> it does. All right. It's going to get loud up in here. Here we go. Uh -oh. Well, it gets louder when you plug it in. <laughs> I bet it does. I would say that's for the blooper reels. We're just going to leave it in. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, since yours is kind of more or less mixed together, I'll just go ahead and... Yeah, go ahead and do yours. Go ahead and dump all this stuff into into my... I kind of wanted this kind of coarse, but it's not turned out that way. It is kind of soupy. Probably going to have big chunks of unmashed bologna. Put it in the bowl. It's a salad. It's supposed to be a little chunky anyway. Well, in the picture, it really kind of looks like a dip, right? Uh, pretty much. Well, yeah, I guess it does. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it, I, I never really thought about it, <laughs> how it looked on the picture. I could, yeah, it looked more like a spread, I suppose, yeah, than a salad. But I guess, I guess that like deviled ham is a salad or a spread. Which is it? Oh, actually, it turned out okay. I'm surprised, but it actually turned out okay. Here, look at that. Ah, huh, looks good. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. This is going to be so good. Like the famous chef, Boyardee. <laughs> oh. Actually, the funny thing about Boyardee is he was a famous Italian chef. And he was highly regarded in his time. I guess he couldn't, you know, he couldn't be held responsible for what they did to his... What they did to his name. His menu and his name, yeah. <laughs> this is bologna salad on the cracker. Mm. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the crackers. Sure. This will be my lunch for the next few days. It's gonna be my dinner right now. <laughs> you gonna eat the whole thing? Well, it didn't come, didn't make that much, I just, right? I didn't. I don't think I made as much as you did. Well, again, I was eyeballing it. Yeah. There's some bologna left over. I'm gonna fry that up for breakfast. There you go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ready? Uh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Huh. It's all right. What do you know? Tastes exactly like bologna with some uh, mayonnaise. and. Now, I'm not sure if it's a combination of the ingredients or the cracker. It tastes kind of salty. Or maybe I put too much salt in it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It did, it did Are you, like, is yours taste salty? It is a little bit salty, but I don't... I added just that tiny bit. Is That's, that is the Ritz cracker salty? The Ritz cracker does have salt on it. And the bologna itself is kind of salty.
Não sei, foi. Oh, oh. That's fine. What's up? So this is what's wrong with this meat? I'm trying to. <laughs> it's good. I'm trying to decide how to how to to judge. I mean, it's it's not like amazing, but it is good. So maybe maybe a thumbs um, up, trending slightly downward. Maybe. All right. What yeah, do you think? I could agree with that. I you know, and that's about a. <laughs> I suppose that'd be about a six out of ten. Old man grunts. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so let's uh, let's try a sandwich. Sorry about that. Ready? Yep. Oh, it's gonna be all right. I think so. There. It actually kind of reminds me of a a ham salad or even a mm -hmm. tuna salad. I don't like tuna salad. I don't like the tuna in the tuna salad. I'm not a big fan of canned tuna. Um, I tried one time, there's a company called Sophie's Kitchen and they make a vegan tuna, T-O-O-N-A. Um, and it looks, smells, and tastes nothing like tuna. So I actually <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm like, don't call it tuna. I was I was afraid to eat it because I thought it tasted like tuna. And I was like, it, it doesn't taste like tuna. I would eat that all the time. All right, uh, let's, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Now, for some reason, I didn't get this on the cracker, but I do get this in the sandwich. Is the the kind of crispy bits, like the onion and the pickles and the you know the, the crispy things? I'm getting more of the crispy things in, in the sandwich. I think because the cracker is crispy and crunchy, it might disguise that. This is pretty good. I would eat this for lunch. That's a good sandwich. I put this in my lunch box. <laughs> Your big Herman Munster lunch box? <laughs> what the? Your big Herman Munster lunch box? Yeah. My big black lunch box you used to carry around look like a toolbox. <laughs> That's good. Mm. I don't know. You, you hear bologna and you get a little bit, you know, nervous about it and everything. It's actually really, really good. I think, I think those other flavors help the bologna. Like, I think if you were just eating like a bologna sandwich with nothing but the bologna in it, you'd be like, it's okay, you know, cool. you know. But I think mixed with the egg and onion and celery and all that other stuff, it's really good. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. And so I, I, that's well, that's kind of a problem for me. This is too good for a mean food. We're gonna have to fix this. With... Well, I'm, I'm trying to think of, of: Have we ever eaten? Have we ever done a mean food that was good? We we have. We've done a couple of them. Uh, the uh... <laughs> it's not gonna come to me right now. All right, uh, Tom. So I'm gonna call this a success, but you know, it's kind of disappointing that it's a success, right? Well, I mean, yes and no. I mean, we've had a bunch of mean successes. It's that it's just mean it's they all tasted good. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice to have. It's nice to have one that turned out actually good. Right. Yeah. That tastes decent. Then there has been one or two, but this tastes a little too good. So the next one, you better, uh, <laughs> you better curl you know, your grid and get ready. <laughs> you know, it'd be interesting, Tom, is if you know, if we, you know, you ate. I would say oysters with Vienna sausage with blue cheese dressing and uh, chocolate syrup that would be pretty nasty and i mention this because uh because we're trying to get tom to a thousand subscribers and when he hits a thousand subscribers he is going to eat this live live okay. he's going to eat raw oysters with vienna sausage with Her hershey syrup or chocolate syrup and uh blue cheese dressing together and uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this. And I think you are too. So so let's get Tom to it. So if you are not subscribed to Tom's channel, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Tom does a great live stream on Saturdays, usually after ours. And uh, he's always cooking something um, something unique and something different. So definitely check out his channel. But while you're there, subscribe. We'll get him to 1,000 subscribers. And it is going to be so much fun. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, again, thank you for joining us. Thank you, bro. 
And uh, just remember, it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of others. Be careful. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.